This video is about how to run a program called SVD Show. This does not come built in with MATLAB. You have to go to Home and go to Add-ons and Get Add-ons and go get the add-on called Cleves Laboratory. I've already done that. So I go to the now I've got it, and I go to apps, and I go to Cleves Laboratory. This is the one that I want. Click on that. There are lots of fun things to play with in here. We're going to go to the ones in lab two. Oh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? We'll go to the one in lab two, and there's one here called Eig Show. This is the one we want. It comes up by default in IG Show, but we can switch it to SVD Show. SVD Show is what we want. So it lets us do this with various matrices. So what it's chosen is a random normal uh, matrix, two by two random normal matrix. So let's just see what that does. We have some green axes that we can move around. And what it does is it says, okay, well, there's X. And there's the image, a times x. x is a unit vector, y is another unit vector. There's the image of a times y. So if we move this, I'm dragging the green one around, and I'm filling out the unit circle, really, by just taking a whole bunch of these uh, vectors. You can see that the tips of the green images trace out the unit circle, their unit vectors, and the tips of the blue trace out an ellipse. Right about there, uh, the image of AX is as long as it ever gets, and right about there, the image of X, that is AX, is about as short as it ever gets. Those two lengths are quite important. That's the major semi-axis and the uh, minor semi-axis. Let's choose a different matrix. In particular, let's take a singular matrix. There was a singular matrix here before. There, there we go. This one has row 2, 4, and 2, 4, and then divided by 4. So let's take those. And here's x, and the image of ax is on the, in there, and the image of y is in there. So we have two vectors going to the same thing, which is kind of funny. But now I rotate the unit circle around, and I take a times unit vectors, and I get a straight line. This is, of course, a degenerate ellipse. There is uh, a vector which gets to zero. So take y, this one, and a times y is zero. So there is a null vector of this matrix. So the minimum semi-axis of this is zero. So that's what happens with singular matrices. Uh, and this sort of looks like Saturn. I'm kind of happy about that. This is a skinnier ellipse than the first one we did with. Uh, if we take the identity matrix, this is really boring. The green is a circle and so is the blue. Well, a circle is also a kind of ellipse. So as much as this video is informing you what is happening, it's not nearly as informative as playing yourself. So I urge you to get Cleves Laboratory and try out I show yourself.